Blessed are the saints who trust in God's power and loving care, for they are part of the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the saints when they are sad because the world is so unfair. They have God's promise that justice will come. Blessed are the nobodies who know they are nobodies and still do God's work. In God's world, they are the leaders. Blessed are the saints whose greatest wish is to do what God desires. God will give them what they want. Blessed are the saints who treat other people gently. God will treat them gently. Blessed are the saints who get in trouble when they do what God requires, for they are surely among God's saints. Since we have such a huge crowd of faith watching us from the grandstand, let us strip off anything that slows us down and holds us back, and especially those sins that wrap themselves so tightly round our feet and trip us up, and let us run with patience the particular race that God has set before us. Keep your eyes on Jesus, our leader and instructor. He was willing to die a shameful death on the cross, because of the joy he knew that would be his afterwards, and now he sits in the place of honour by the throne of God. If you want to keep from becoming faint-hearted and weary, think about his patience as sinful men did such terrible things to him. After all, you have never yet struggled against an temptation until you sweat great drops of blood. I'm not quite sure if I should thank you, Lord, or register objection. Turning the world upside down is not the first thing on my list of things to do. It comes a bit below concern for health and safety, time off, 
holidays. It's not a popular, popular thing. People object. They like things as they are. And so do I. I like my life to be a steady progress. Comfortable. The pace sedate. Looking before each little step. No thought of leaps. And when I've done my quota for the day, I like to shut up shop. Go home. Relax. Turn up the heating. Switch the telly on. Ignore the phone and hope the cry for help was just another double glazing salesman. I'm not available just now, but if you leave your name and message, I'll get back to you as soon as it's convenient. Convenient to me, of course. But that's, that's just what you're not convenient. The least convenient God I could imagine. Scrapping my carefully planned agenda, calling me to change the world. To turn it upside down. It seems too big, too big a, a job for me. And so it is. Except I'm not alone. I've got you in my life. And if it still seems hard to change the world even with you, perhaps together we can make a start at changing me. Do justice, be strong, be generous, don't ignore those who need you, don't damage the earth, love mercy, be kind, be forgiving, don't bear grudges, don't withhold love, walk humbly with your God, be attentive, be obedient, don't run away from wisdom, don't wander off the road. Love God with all that you have, your mind, your heart, your soul, your dreams, your tears and laughter. And love your neighbour as you love yourself. Let your children play together, share your stories and your food. Be salt, be light, be leaven. Be happy. Be who you are. Be children of God. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we meet as members of the Mother's Union in Manchester, may we know your presence and hear your word. Teach us how best to serve you 
seeing not just the needs of this diocese, but those of the wider world. Help us at all times to trust in you and to seek to do your will. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Encourage us, use us and bless us, that we may have strength to follow your way. We pray in sure hope and the assurance of your power. Amen. For running away from your love, you forgive us. For preferring the safe and familiar, you forgive us. For refusing to believe in your power, you forgive us. For not being prepared to transform ourselves and reach the potential for which we were made, you forgive us. And because from this moment we are new people, born again and given yet another chance to live. So with heaven and earth and all creation, we praise and bless your holy name. Amen. Mm-hmm. 